Hey kids, uh, welcome back to Rob's Red Hotspot and a new SimCity 4 tutorial video. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about how to import a region into SimCity 4. Uh, you'll find if you go on Simtropolis, uh, all sorts of great user-made regions and uh, I get lots of questions in the comments and I know it's not the most obvious thing to figure out how to do uh, installing those regions. They come in different file formats and there are a few different ways to do this. So it should be a pretty quick video. Let's dive in right away. So we can use SimCity4's method to install certain regions. For example, this Digby region here, uh, which comes with a, a JPEG file and a config.big, uh, config.bumpmap file. Uh, if we wanted to do that, uh, we would create a folder uh, within the SimCity4 uh, regions. We would create a folder for that one. I actually already have Digby in here. Uh, we would create a folder and put the, the JPEG and the bitmap in there. And we would press Control, Alt, Shift, R in SimCity 4 and load up the region that way. But it's not a particularly good way of doing it, so I'm not going to show you how to do that way. Uh, I, don't, I really don't recommend it. What I recommend that you do is that you download SC4 Mapper. You can download it from the Lex. I'll provide a link in the video description. And you're also going to want to grab the uh, 4 gigabyte patch. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. Uh, if you already have the network add-on mod installed, which you should, the four gigabyte patch should be in your network add-on mod uh, install folder. But uh, just uh, just for the sake of being thorough here, I'm going to show you uh, how to use that. So basically, we're going to we're going to unzip um, SC4 Mapper here. Uh, this is just uh, let me just get rid of these here. And then you can run the installer here. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to show you how to run the installer. Uh, and then in terms of the 4 gigabyte patch, what we do is we just... We can just extract this file here. When you run this executable, 4 gigabyte patch.exe, just click yes here. Now you're going to navigate to the location where your SC4 mapper is installed. In my case, it's in program files x86. Uh, basically, SC4 mapper is, a, is an older application. It's a 32-bit application, and we are using the same patch patcher that we use when we install the NAM. You just go to sc4mapper.exe, open, and then you'll see here it says 4 gigabyte patch, executable, successfully patched. That's it. And it's the same way that you would run this patch for the, uh, for the, the game. Right, so let's now download a couple regions. So I'm going to start with a, a very, very simple example. We're going to download uh, the Digby region here. So we can see here that this region has a JPEG file and a config.bitmap. We're going to want, ideally, we're going to want both of those. And why don't we do Altana as well? Uh, if you uh, if you're familiar with my current Honestville series, uh, this is based in in Altana. So you can see that the Altana file here comes in a zip. Different files on the Simtropolis forums come in different formats, and you'll start to get used to all that. So let's download Altana as well, and we'll just navigate to this folder here. So let's take a look at this Altana folder. Uh, by the way, when you download things uh, from uh, when you download things from the Stacks from the Simtropolis file exchange, uh, I highly advise uh, you know using 7-zip or whatever zip program you're using. Uh, use this button here. Uh, don't just extract here because you, you don't know what format these are in. And if you've got other stuff in this folder, uh, what you want is to extract it to a folder. That's just a good. That's just good advice for any anything you're downloading that comes in a zip format, uh, really. And let's take a look at what's in here. So we can see that we've got Altana.jpg, Altana.png, Altana.sc4m. That's that SimCity4 mapper, which is the program we just downloaded, and the config.bitmap. So we're going to look at. Uh, what each of these uh, files is for. Uh, let's let's just open them up to get a sense. So here you can see a what what's what's called like um like a grayscale uh, JPEG, and you can sort of see the terrain map here. And this is used for SimCity 4 uses this for the to generate the height map basically. Here we've got this is a PNG. This is just a preview of what the region looks like. Uh, this is not a file that you're actually going to use. It's just uh, to give you a sense. And then we've got the config.bitmap folder, which I've actually opened in Paint here. The config.bitmap folder is going to look like something like this. And this is basically telling SimCity for uh, what size of tiles to use. Uh, the the uh, large tiles, the medium tiles, and the small tiles. Uh, you can actually make one of these in paint if you want. It, it's not a particularly efficient way of doing things. But a lot of regions will ship with these. And then the SC4M uh, file. 
let's open SC4 Mapper. And this is what it looks like. We could, if we hit this load region button here, it's gonna it's gonna take us to our SC uh, our SimCity4 regions, and it would allow us to like edit an existing region. So we're not doing that right now. What we need to do is actually hit create region. You can see that there are various options in terms of what you create a region for. So if we wanted to work with the Digby region here, let's just go back to that region. I'm actually gonna re uh, I'm actually going to uh, rename this because I already got a region. Uh, Digby in there. So let's just call this test region one. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. Test region one, just for my sanity. Uh, and we know that this is a JPEG. So we're going to click grayscale image. Okay. And now we're going to go find that file again. So for me, in my case, it's in my downloads folder here. Test region one. And we're going to open it. We have a few options here. What I would recommend if you're downloading a region that comes with a config.bitmap is that you you load up the config.bitmap associated with it. We're going to be able to change this after. And then we open it up and this is what it looks like. So you can see here you basically got a preview of the the Digby region. These are the large tiles, the medium tiles, and the small tiles. If you're okay with the, the default ones that are kind of suggested by the person who made the map, or that sort of come with the with the map, then uh, then you can just save the region and it will go into your region folder. Otherwise, uh, what you can do, and I, I like to do this with pretty much every file I download, is you can hit edit config.bitmap. And you can go here, we can we can take like, for example, I like to work with all large large tiles. So you take like, and I like to actually stagger them. So I would do something like this. Just sort of have the maximum number of large tiles. Uh, SC4 Mapper is a little bit of a slow piece of software. Just just be patient with it. Uh, it does uh, it does kind of lag a bit. I find uh, I have a pretty high end setup at this point with a brand new processor in my computer and uh, and it does tend to lag a bit. So just be patient with it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to sort of do this, but it really does a very good job. All right, uh, and so this is this is what I tend to do uh, for my cities is just have staggered large tiles. But you could also decide to place large tiles in areas that sort of have you know that are easy to work with, or you can you can do this however you want. You can use any combination of small and medium cities, and this is the easiest way to edit uh, config.bitmap files. And then we just click this button here, and now we go save region. We can, we can now rename the region, and that's test region one. And you can see here, it's actually rendering out the tiles. So now when we go into SimCity 4, let's go find that region and see what it looks like. We're gonna go load region. And we can see test region one is here. And here we are, it's, it's used the config.bitmap to place these large tiles the way I placed them. Now you will notice when you when you load a city from um, when you load a city from SC4 Mapper that the the terrain kind of looks a little bit different uh, than than it would uh, if you had created this region in SimCity 4. And sometimes you'll see like blank tiles that are like gray, and you've got these sort of like awkward graphical uh, artifacts along the edges. As soon as you've loaded all these tiles, they'll they'll look normal. Uh, so just don't worry about it. Ignore it. It's not a problem. If you see a completely blank tile, don't freak out. It, it did work. It's just that uh, SC4 Mapper has a sort of weird time creating the thumbnails for these cities. It has absolutely no effect on the city. When you actually load the city, see it's got this sort of weird color scheme. Uh, but once you've actually loaded a city tile, uh, it will look normal. Alright, see, so it looks normal now. Just uh, save this tile back out to the regional map and you can see it's now rendered out a thumbnail for the tile uh, there's no you don't need to do this uh, you don't need to do this with don't feel like you need to do this like to all of the tiles before you start working on your cities you can start playing in this one and then render this one out later when you're ready to go over to that region a lot of the files on Simtropolis don't actually come with a grayscale image at all. Uh, Altana happens to but a lot of the larger files uh, are gonna happen have the SC4M so you're gonna actually need uh, uh, SimCity 4 mapper to work on those regions. So we'll, we'll hit create region here again. And this time, instead of grayscale image, grayscale image, we're going to click SC4M. Go and find the Altana.SC4M file. 
open it. It's a much larger region here. So you can see we can kind of scroll around and, you know, I'm not going to bother uh, redoing all of these city tiles here, but you can do them any way you want. If you want to hit edit config.bitmap, you can edit these however you like. Uh, you'll get used to using this. Like I said, it's a little bit wonky and it's a little bit slow sometimes, the software, but uh, it does it works very, very well. Uh, and then when we're when we're ready to go, we hit save region, give it a name. I'll call this test region 2, because again, I already have an Altana in there. You see here it's rendering out all the tiles, uh, and it does this it does this much, much, much faster than the rendering uh, when you use the control shift alt R method in SimCity 4. Uh, so not only will you be able, if you if you use uh, SimCity for Mapper, it will allow you to uh, upload regions that are in the SC4M format, and it will also be a lot faster at um, rendering out the terrain. And from what I understand, it actually renders out the terrain in uh, more detail. The, the height map of the terrain is more detailed. So let's go find uh, that new test region in uh, SimCity 4 here. Load region. Test region 2. And here it is, the region that we just uploaded from, that we just uh, set up in SC4 Mapper. Yeah, see if, see if I put it in the transportation view here, you can see these like empty blue tiles. Uh, don't freak out. This is, this is just uh, basically uh, when you render these tiles out, it will work, it will work perfectly normally. So don't, don't freak out about that. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of regions just waiting to be discovered on the Centropolis forums. So uh, with uh, as long as you know how to use that simple software, uh, you will be able to download them. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it's answered some of your questions in terms of how to import regions. And I will see you next time. Ciao.